we've, we've had these types of conversations before, uh, and I've made it very clear that I uh, worked with the police and instructed them to do everything that they could to make sure that the protesters were able to exercise their uh, right to free speech. Uh, it's a very delicate balancing act because while we uh, try to make sure that they were protected from the cars and the other you know, things that were going on, um, we also gave those who wished to destroy space to do that as well. And we uh, worked very hard to, uh, to keep that balance and, and to put ourselves in the best position to de-escalate, and that's what you saw. All right, I, I've never heard anything like that in my life. The mayor of Baltimore saying that she also gave those who wish to destroy space to do that as well. She then denied she said it. She spent all last night uh, saying that her words were taken out of context, mis misrepresented. How dare you? Uh, but she said it. Joining us now is Jeff Reuter. He's spokesman for the St. Louis Police Officers Association, former member of the Missouri House of Representatives. Jeff, welcome back. Um, uh, but let's start with this mayor. I mean, let's just start with that statement. Now, I mean, now, and now it's obvious why we saw what we saw. Well, uh, you know, the one thing she had right is it, it is a delicate balance. And, you know, it, it seems like uh, the thing that, that she made to, to restrain the police or to, to take a, a laissez-faire uh, approach to this uh, had some pretty dire consequences. But I want to lay too much blame with the feet of the mayor. I mean, let, let's uh, give equal blame to the testers that decided to turn this violent and, 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 uh, and <coughs> deadly, you know. No, I, I, I couldn't agree more that uh, the, the, the um, fault lies with those who committed the crimes and the rioting and the looting. But um, how could this have been handled better? You know, I think that uh, mayors and police chiefs across the country need to turn off uh, the cable news programs and, and go back to doing what they know is right. Uh, you know, in, in Ferguson and uh, in the St. Louis area, uh, we, we chided for, for over-militarization. Uh, in Baltimore, they took the opposite approach, give them more space uh, to give the, the protesters and, and the violent folks among them uh, more latitude. And we really, with sort of the same outcome, I mean, built, burning buildings, uh, looting, rioting. And, you know, I, I sort of wonder if people are going to realize that this is not about the police response. Uh, it's about what the kid running down the alley with the gas can in his hand is doing. No, you're absolutely right. It's not about the, I mean, to an extent it's about the mayor because uh, she could have called the governor to call in the National Guard, but you're right, in Ferguson, they, they had them there, even when they had them there, the first night or so they didn't, and we saw what happened. When they had them there, there, was, there were problems as well. Um, the, the president seems to have said the right thing this time, uh, you know, uh, giving out uh, uh, concern about the police in, uh, officers who have been injured. Uh, I think right. that's a good message. Also saying this wasn't protesting. If you bur if you burn a place down, it's arson. If you break in, it's it's burglary. Whatever. So it seems like he's come around to a to a certain extent on this. I would imagine. More pleasing than, than the things that he and that he and General Holder had to say uh, in in Ferguson, uh, where where I thought that they were uh, at least accomplices in the rush to judgment. Uh, you know, the the answer here is. Uh, that the police aren't the problem. Uh, if you allow the police to do their job, uh, most of the time things turn out well. When uh, when you decide that the police are the problem and try to start uh, restricting and uh, limiting the police, uh, it, it, it just goes wrong. I, I, on the other hand, Jeff, um, you know, as far as uh, we, we understand, you know, that the governor, who's a Republican from uh, the state of Maryland, said that he spoke to the uh, the, the uh, White House and, uh, if not the president himself, and he urged him to have the police and the law enforcement use restraint. Um, you know, at what point does restraint go out the window? I mean, I saw I, I saw bricks and bottles and pipes thrown at those officers yesterday, and they retreated. In full riot gear, was that a smart thing to do? 
No, because it emboldens uh, the violent elements in that protest. It contributes to the uh, the mob mentality, and it is a dangerous, dangerous approach. You know, the, the best way to keep uh, peaceful protesters and people in the neighborhood and business owners safe is a, a show of, of police force and police readiness. Uh, and, uh, you know, it is a delicate balance, but uh, law enforcement in this country is, is very capable of striking that balance. And what do you expect going forward in, in Baltimore? I mean, do you, do you think uh, you think we saw the worst of it last night? Probably, but I mean, it, these things uh, tend to take on a life of their own. Uh, you know, I think that that the uh, the violent elements in in the crowd that uh, that tend to co-opt these demonstrations uh, really probably are pretty happy with the way things. Well, went what by. about Jeff? We only have forty seconds. My fault. What about spreading to other cities? I know there's going to be protests in New York City tomorrow. They're saying they're going to close down the bridges and tunnels. Yeah, so uh, law enforcement and, if necessary, the National Guard needs to be uh, deployed and prepared uh, to uh, use a certain amount of, of uh, in these situations. And uh, we, we saw how disaster it is when, disastrous it is when, when, when you're not prepared. Yeah, absolutely. Jeff, great to talk to you, sir. Thank you very much. The Malsberg Panel's next, folks.